Most of you all in my audience already know who Kyle Kalinske is, host of Secular Talk. He was also one of the four founding members of the Justice Democrats, the group that um, ran, quote, elect, ran elected progressives like um, AOC, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib. They were Justice Democrats was the group that uh, organized for them set up their campaigns, just as Democrats helped recruit the, these people. So that was back in 2017. And now all the founding members of Justice Democrats have left and they have uh, taken the organization in a different direction than the original mission. And you can you, you can see um that the politicians that they got elected, like AOC and, and Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, they are also a lot different than when they originally ran back in 2017, 2018. But I feel like Kyle is in this weird position where he doesn't want to look like a bitter, disgruntled former employee and rail against justice Democrats all the time. And he doesn't want to come across as divisive on the left or whatever and, and promoting infighting by constantly ripping Justice Democrats. But at the same time, he does feel the need to criticize them definitely more than most pop, a lot of the most popular people in new media. But at the same time, he, like I said, he doesn't want to come off as bitter and whatever. So he still tries to praise them and, and give them credit for really stupid shit that they don't even deserve credit for a lot of the time and defending them from certain attacks or whatever, which I, again, I feel like they don't deserve that either. So I feel like he's been uh, in this weird position where he's stuck in the middle, half defending Justice Democrats, half ripping them for being um, useless and ineffectual. Well, uh, a little while ago, he did a video about... Um, Justice Democrats running a pro-Biden ad. And he touches on something that is at the heart of the reason why a lot of people on the left have been turned off by Justice Democrats over the last few years. And it's that what they're doing now, the direction that they're going in now, the over-focusing on identity politics, and, and cancel culture and the whole outrage machine and now pushing incrementalism. The direction they're going in now is completely opposite of what the group was founded on before and what gained them the support of so many people on the left. I think that was interesting. I have a clip from that. It's about a minute and a half long. And I'll play that for you. But first, you guys know the deal. I'm trying to make this show uh, my main thing. I'm trying to do it full time. I need to. I want to make more content to, for you guys. I need to, need to be able to focus on making more content for you guys. So if you can help uh, contribute to the show financially, I have the link to my Patreon in my about page on my YouTube channel. I also have the link to uh, PayPal account if you guys rather do a one time contribution. And I appreciate all the people who've done who've helped support the show over the last couple of weeks. I also have a, a partnership with this company called Mask Up where I get a special link that is also in my about page on my YouTube channel. And if you click the, if you click the link, go to the website and make a purchase. I get 20% off of I get 20% commission from whatever your your purchase was. So they sell reusable cloth masks for about $17 and if you're looking for a mask, everybody has to wear them inside anyway. You might as well buy them from Mask Up, and I get 20% commission. Now, I'm going to play the clip for you guys, and then we'll come back and I'll break it down. Right off the bat, I'll state the obvious. If I was still at Justice Democrats, if I was still on the board, if I was still one of the top people there, they would not be running this ad. I'll say that up front. I would, I would argue against this vociferously. Now, the way it worked, I could have been outvoted, but I don't think I would have been outvoted. I think the other people who were there at the time would have probably said the same thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe things have changed and evolved so much so to the point where people would have overwhelmingly wanted to run this ad. But I would be a strong no vote on running this ad. 
And for the very simple reason, Joe Biden hasn't earned it. Joe Biden hasn't earned it. You want to make the case he's the lesser evil and, you know, here's the reasons why he's better than Trump. Fair enough. I'd probably agree with a lot of your reasons. That still doesn't mean he earned having an, an ad from what was originally founded to be an outsider, anti-establishment, leftist, uncompromising organization. This is them compromising. And I don't like it, okay? But I'm not there anymore, so what am I going to do? So, Bear Kyle says the main reason why he, if he was to let Justice Democrats, main reason why he would be opposed to them running this pro-Biden ad is because, he, in his words, he says, Joe Biden hasn't earned it. And, and basically what he's saying is, you have this group entirely founded to be the antithesis of the establishment Democrats, the corporate Democrats, business as usual Democrats. Justice Democrats was founded to take on the corruption in the Democratic Party, to take on the neoliberals and the corporatists in the Democratic Party who put the, their donors' priorities above the priorities of the voters and the people in this country. That's what Justice Democrats was founded on. So it is a massive contradiction for that same group to go and run campaign ads to help elect a, a chief neoliberal corporatist like Joe Biden. Because all of the things in, in Justice Democrats' policy platform, not only is Joe Biden against those policies, he is for the policy. He was the author of the policies that created these problems to begin with. The mass incarceration pro uh, uh, crisis and the drug war. That was Joe Biden in his tough on crime days, passing the crime bill and all those other related uh, bills through the Judi Judiciary Committee in the Senate. He's responsible for the mass incarceration crisis that the Justice Democrats was founded on being opposition to. Joe Biden has been a, a huge ally to the for-profit private health insurance companies and big pharma who profit off of this, this uh, disgusting for-profit health insur insurance system that we have in this country right now. So Justice Democrats founded on uh, uh, challenging the Democratic Party and getting Medicare for all, universal health care for everybody. Now that group is going to run ads for Joe Biden, who's promising to veto Medicare for all in the middle of a pandemic, ending the wars. Just as Democrats, part of their policy platform is ending all these illegal military interventions that we're involved in all over the world, all over the Middle East. Joe Biden, it's not an understatement. Joe Biden is responsible for getting us into every single one of those wars. Either when he was vice president under the Obama administration or when he was chairman of the Armed Services Committee under the Bush administration and helped get us into the Iraq war and Afghanistan war. The catalyst of all, this, all the other uh, 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 mayhem and debacle going on in, in, in the Middle East or all these other military interventions. Joe Biden over his career is responsible for the endless wars. And then again, Justice Democrats group who was founded to help to elect politicians to end the war end all the endless wars. Now, again, they're running pro Biden ads. Make that make sense for me. Make that make sense to me. And the real slap in the face is how, where do they get that money to run that, those, that pro Biden ad at the very least, they spend a couple hundred thousand dollars on the, the, that ad likely over a million dollars to run those ads. And Justice Democrats, again, founded to be the antithesis of the corporate Democrats, they only take money in small dollar donations from regular, average, working class voters. As opposed to the Democrats who take money all kinds of ways from corporations, millionaires, billionaires, dark money, super PAC money. They take all of it. And that's where they get the money to run those, their pro Biden ads. But you have now the Justice Democrats 
taking money from people who despise the Democratic Party, who despise Joe Biden and, and the neoliberals and the corporatists, and are fundamentally against their politics. So much so that they're donating to a group that sold themselves as the opposition, that sold themselves as uh, the people who are going to do a hostile takeover to throw out the bombs, to throw out people like Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi and all the other corporate Democrats. You, those regular working class people donated to Justice Democrats and then Justice Democrats is going to turn around and use their money to run pro-Biden ads, again, for the person who is responsible for the policies that they're fighting against. So that it's just a massive contradiction there. And this gets to something that, that I, I brought up in the last video I did about AOC, which is this new direction that Justice Democrats and these elected progressives are going in is fundamentally opposite of what they fo were founded on. It was f it's fundamentally opposite of the, the founding mission of this group and of these politicians. It's like they played us. It's like they gave us the old okie doke and they came out on the scene at the time, I, I, get, I understand they had different leadership. It was Kyle Kalinske and some people from Bernie's campaign and Cenk Uger, who was less shitty at the time. But they came out, founded the group saying, hey, this is a hostile takeover of the Democratic Party. Either you get on board with our policies or you're getting primaried and we're going to have a knockdown drag out fight to get Medicare for all, to end the wars, to get $15 minimum wage, to get free college, to get actual climate policies to address the, the climate apocalypse that we're facing. Either you get on board, you get primaried, and it's going to be a nasty public pressure campaign the whole way through. That's what we were sold with Justice Democrats in the beginning, right? That's not what they're doing now. Now, they're pushing incrementalism, trying to elect a, a neoliberal architect like Joe Biden, corporatist, and then the, the politicians that they already have elected, like AOC, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, uh, uh, Pramila Jayapal, Ro Khanna. Now, these politicians, again, now that they're there, it's not a hostile takeover of the Democratic Party no, anymore. They're not kicking ass and taking names, and they're not going to uh, go scorched earth. No, now it's, we're going to play the game. We're going to move up the ladder, looking for... for uh, uh, positions in democratic leadership and all that stuff. That's not what you guys sold us as. If you told us, if AOC and Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, if they told us before they got elected, hey, so just so you guys know, we're going to vote for the biggest corporate bailout in history. We won't get any concessions for the American people. Uh, we'll vote for Nancy Pelosi to be the Speaker of the House. And we'll show for Joe Biden and tell you that he's the most progressive president since FDR. If they told us that up front, if they were up front with what they were going to be doing right now, just two years later, there is no way in hell they, they would have gotten the support that they did from the left. And now that they did an about face and flipped the script, it's... And this is why I talk about them so much on this show... Because now it's a mission to try to let people on the left know, hey, they aren't on the same page as us anymore. They, the, the mission statement changed. The game plan changed for these people. And that's one of the most frustrating things. People think that, oh, only you can, if you can't be a real lefty if you don't support Justice Democrats. I don't agree with that. I've been steadfast in my policy beliefs and, and policy ideals and the direction I think that the, the country needs to go in and politics needs to go in in this country. I've been dead set on that. I have not moved. Well, actually, you could say I've moved further left, but I have not moved to the right. So the people who have moved to the right, who've moved to the center, who've moved to the status quo, that's the Justice Democrats. So... The fact that me and them aren't on the same page anymore and the fact that I, I vehemently despise this group now 
it's not because I changed and it's not because I uh, 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 I left the cause. No, I'm still here. They're pushing incrementalism. They're pushing neoliberalism. And that's fundamentally different from than what I signed up for. So, of course, I'm not going to support them anymore. It's not a tautology. It's not you're on the left, therefore you have to support Justice Democrats. No. Just like with Bernie Sanders, as long as you and I are speaking the same language, as long as you and I have the same goals and we're on the same plan and we, we have the, the same policies that we're working towards and we have a, 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 we're on the same page on strategy on how to get there, as long as those things all line up, I'm with you 100%. But the second you you move right on, from me, the second you start pushing incrementalism and neoliberalism and corporatism, well, then I'm done with you, and I don't see you as much better than the rest of the Democratic Party. So it's it's sad what has happened, what has become of the Justice Democrats. In short order, they've become no better than the rest of the, the corporate Democrats, the establishment Democrats. And I will admit... I will admit there are some people who called this from the beginning, who said there can be no takeover of the Democratic Party. These people will be co-opted, they will be turned, and Nancy Pelosi will bring them to heel. That's what some people said from the beginning. I said, hey, let's give them a chance. Well, it, how many chances am I supposed to give them? At such a defining time, such a crucial moment in, in politics right now, They've abandoned the left. They went along with the corporate scam that was the CARES Act. Got no concessions, got no Medicare for all, got no UBI, got none of that. Okay, you sold us out on that. You voted for Nancy Pelosi, didn't even try to run a left challenge to, for speaker. Okay, you sold us out on that. Bernie Sanders loses the primary, and instead of organizing public, public pressure campaigns to push for the policies that we need right now in the middle of an unprecedented economic crisis and pandemic. Instead of pushing for the things that, that would undoubtedly help the public, undoubtedly help the, the American people, and undoubtedly further the agenda of the left, instead of doing that, all these Justice Democrats rolled over like dogs, laid in a chalk outline of themselves on the ground, and decided, hey, fuck it, we're not going to get anything good, so we might as well just go along with incrementalism. We might as well go along with neoliberalism. We might as well shill for Joe Biden, the architect of this corrupt, unresponsive uh, uh, politics that we have to this day, responsible for all these crises, mass incarceration, wealth inequality, endless war, we are just going to shill for him anyway, even though he's fundamentally opposite. Even though that's exactly what we got elected to run against and to fight against, we're going to shill for that anyway. Okay, so if that's what you're going to do, I can't stop you. I can't hold a gun to Justice Democrats' head and say, don't do that. No, you chose your path, you chose your way, and I don't agree with that. So I'm no longer supporting them. And running pro-Biden ads is exactly what I'm talking about. We aren't on the same page.